Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler B series B's I've been doing for the while. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm gonna talk about stuff. I'm gonna let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff at the time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not gonna lie, I am keeping my eyes open because I have the windows open. And there are wasps and bees in my backyard. But I think they're far enough away that they're going to do their wasp and bee business over there. But anyway, uh, it's super simple format, folks. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside my truck. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, I wear super cool shirts. I like to highlight a super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom, it's my Divide Devour shirt. See, it's it's clever because the divide sign, the divide sign is in between it. Um, if you are not familiar with Divide Devour, they are a band. Uh, they're a great local Illinois band. The, uh, the drummer, super cool guy, he actually went over there, he sent me some shirts, and I, I actually hadn't even seen his band yet, but I was like, you know, I'd seen some of their stuff online and everything. And thankfully, I finally remedied that, maybe like two months ago, something like that. I finally got to see him perform live, and holy shit did they blow me away. They were fan fucking tastic. Um, I have videos from their performance that are on this channel. I highly recommend giving them a look because they are very, very good. Like, you know, they don't have an album or anything yet. You know, they're still relatively new ish, but like, you would never know it. Like, they're really fucking good. I'm really, really happy to have them as part of the local scene. But anyway, um, so yeah, what am I reviewing for y'all? What are we doing here? What's going on? Well, folks, I've been meaning to get to this one for about a week. Uh, just didn't happen for me. I had a lot of weird shit that happened with me last week, man. Like, I actually had, uh, we had, like, two super, super hot days where it was, like, over 100 degrees, and I was not dealing with that well. And I actually had a fucking thing where, like, I ended up getting dizzy and throwing up, and it was, like, it was bad. So, yeah, I wasn't super into doing reviews for about a week, but... Now I'm feeling fine, because the weather's nicer, nicer, nicer. Uh, so what am I doing? Boom, it's from Wendy's, but it's not just anything from Wendy's. This is the, let's open it up. Oh, God. This is their brand spanking new, oh, oh, boom, this is their, oh, God, boom. This is their loaded nacho burger from Wendy's. And I got it as a double, because I'm an American, and I do what I want. So it's, it's yeah, and they got, there's like corn on it. And it's very crunchy. There's like tortilla chips. So yeah, it's, it's the, the loaded nacho burger. Sure. I mean, I like loaded nachos. I like burgers. This should work well together. I, this will also end up on my, uh, Burgers for Days playlist. That's where all my burger reviews go. So let's give this one a go. I mean, it looks sloppy and sexy. So halfway there. Um. Okay. Well. I mean, my initial impression is that <laughs> I just bit into a Wendy's double cheeseburger, which is fine. I like Wendy's double cheeseburgers, but I'm not getting a lot in the way of, like, interesting new stuff. We're, we're going to go, like, the bun is off so different, too, so. Um, I mean, okay, well, the nacho crisps add a little something, mostly just texture, they had a crunch to them, which, I'm not sure that I'm huge on. I don't mind crunchiness in a burger, I think it could be nice. This isn't the first time I've had tortilla chips on a burger. And tortilla chips are delicious, don't get me wrong. But I 
on a burger, I feel like they're a little bit much in terms of the crunch factor. That's kind of the case here. Like, they add a nice little flavor. You get a nice little, you know, corn burst. I'm good with that. But the, the crunchiness, I don't know. I, I could take it or leave it on that one. I mean, it's a Wendy's double cheeseburger. It's greasy as shit. It's tasty. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I don't feel like the extra bits are really adding all that much to the whole situation. Maybe a little bit. I mean, there's definitely a little something, but God damn it, you should appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I was expecting a lot more from this, if I'm honest with you. It's not a bad cheeseburger, but the reason why it's not a bad cheeseburger is more to do with the fact that it's already a du Wendy's double cheeseburger. That's a good cheeseburger. I mean, you know, in terms of fast food burgers, they're definitely one of the best ones that you can get, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's not bad. I mean, yeah, I just I, I was hoping for more. It's one of those things. Like every now and again, I get one. Of the, I get something that I review where it's like it's not bad. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not upset with it. I'm just disappointed in it. And that's the case with this. Like, it's a decent enough burger. But again, I don't really feel like the, the extra stuff is really all that special. Like, you know, especially with it being called, you know, the loaded nacho cheeseburger. I was expecting, you know, like loads of nacho cheese and, you know, maybe some, uh, you know, some ground beef or some chili or something on it. Or, you know, maybe some jalapenos, something to give it some extra kick. All it really seems like I got was, like, some, you know, little uh, tortilla chip crisps and, like, some crispy corn. Uh, and that adds texture, and it adds some flavor, but I don't really feel like it does very much. Like, I just... Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... I, my overall takeaway from it is, I mean, I like it. It's perfectly fine, but I like it in the way that I like a classic Wendy's double cheeseburger, except I probably like that more because I wouldn't have to contend with the crispy bits, which I personally, again, I'm just not the biggest fan of, you know, in this format. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a little, you know, there is a little something extra. There's a little bit of, a, I guess, a corn flavor to it. But yeah, just given the name, given the title and everything, like, I really was expecting a lot more out of this one. And I don't know, man, it's just doesn't feel all that special or all that fantastic, and that's kind of surprising. Wendy's usually delivers, I feel like, you know, I'm not saying I love everything that they come out with, but typically, I'm at least, like, even if it's not my thing, I'll still go with it. With this one, well, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Ah, uh, no and no. I might, emphasis on might, I might do a re-review on this one. I'd be, like, what I'm going to do for sure is when I'm done with this, I'm going to go over there, I'm going to check the website, and I want to see, like, what ingredients are supposed to be in it. Because I don't know, it feels like there should be more. And I'm not, I'm not trying to go over there and, like, throw the Wendy's, you know, that I went to under the bus or anything. Like, I go to that Wendy's pretty regularly. They do right by me. You know, I don't have any issues with them. But I don't know, this is one of those things where it's like, it feels like there should be more to it. But, yeah, um, I, if it is as is, I definitely wouldn't get it again. i just get a fucking double cheeseburger. Uh, for recommending it to people, not really. You know, you're paying extra because it's a specialty burger, and I feel like the little bit that is added to the whole equation just isn't worth that, you know? it's. I mean, if you really like texture, if you really like, you know, 
corn tortilla chip flavor, sure, go ahead and, you know, do your thing. But, yeah, I just don't feel like it's, uh, it's really worth it. You know, it's not a, not a proper specialty burger from, from Wendy's, in my opinion. Sorry, Wendy's. Anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of week. Monday, 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 Proper specialty burger test the rest of your life because folks, I love try I love trying new burgers. That's just you know whether it's fast food burgers or artisanal burgers or gimmicky burgers, man. I, I fucking I run the gamut. You know, I'll put some meats or even meat substitute shit in between bun and maybe some cheese and shit. I'll probably try it. Final two things: number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do can't do all time. I know I can't do all time. Here's good. Do folks, you're gonna try not to be an asshole. Well, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole, okay? Trust me. I wish it was. It's just not. You know, even on a today, uh, day like today where it's like, you know, it's pretty nice out, you know, it's, you know, we're getting a little bit cooler. We're in the 70s instead of the fucking hundreds. I like that. You know, at the end of the day, man, you know, I, <laughs> I started off my day with paying bills and shit because it's like, well, it's almost the end of the month. Better fucking get this shit paid. Here goes a shitload of money that I worked for. But that's life. It is important, though, when we run into those situations that are stressful, frustrating, etc. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to try out the loaded nacho burger from Wendy's or what the fuck ever. And maybe it's going to be fantastic and amazing. And maybe you're going to hit me up in the comments and you're going to be like, Brandon, it was good, and I don't know what you're talking about, blah, 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 blah. If that's the case, by the way, please genuinely do that. If you've tried out this burger and you thought it was really good and you felt like it added a lot to the burger, please hit me up in the comments because, again, that might decide whether or not I re-review this one, you know. Because I don't, I hit up Wendy's sporadically. It's not like a go-to place, but every now and again I'll hit up Wendy's. Um, you know, so there's no guarantee I'm going to fucking re-review it, but we'll see. Uh, or conversely, you could not do that at all and go over there and spend your time being productive in your day, unlike me. Ha! Bye.